My proud and precious colleagues, I am in this short video message representing our dear country, Ghana, your alma mater, KNUST, your wonderful parents, family, colleagues, and friends to bring you the very best of felicitations on your graduation at the end of a very unusual academic year. Indeed, you represent the very best of what a profitable partnership between KNUST and ASU can be, both for now and the future. You have demonstrated both character and resilience in this COVID-19 year. Thus, to you, our proud graduates, we say congratulations on your success once again. You have made all of us very, very proud. The journey has not been easy, having to burn the midnight oil so as to meet stringent deadlines and excel in your academics. Whether you were completing your senior year at ASU from Ghana Online, or you were in Arizona achieving same in your graduate studies at ASU, as a well-known national folkloric ballad composer, Jack Honimo says in a song, Adishnaya which literally translated means learning is never easy. Underscoring the fact that diligent studies is not a task for the faint hearted. We are happy and excited that you have thrived and succeeded, more so in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, during which period out of nowhere, you had to quickly adapt to a new way of studying. Suddenly, your new world was virtual. And for those in Ghana, having to alter your biological clock just to participate in classes online at times when your mates in Ghana would be asleep. You have thus made sacrifices that are truly worth it. For those graduating from their senior year, that represents the first hurdle for completing your undergraduate degree programs in analytics, finance, global logistics, management, biomedical engineering, civil engineering, materials engineering, and mechanical engineering. All things being equal, come the fourth semester of 2021-2022, you should be in ASU stepping into the giant shoes of your senior colleagues graduating with you today. Brace yourselves up for this eminent but exciting challenge of completing an accelerated master's program in your respective disciplines in the coming academic year. We remain confident that you would similarly excel just as you had done in your senior year for which we celebrate you today. To both groups of graduates, we say, well done, Aiko. As freshly minted graduates, always remember the three brands you represent. MasterCard Foundation, who through its scholars program made this partnership possible and has made your dream come true. KNUST as the best university in Ghana. ASU as the best university in innovation and research in the US. You simply cannot afford by your actions or inactions, bring any of these names into disrepute. Furthermore, remember the philosophy and aspirations of the MasterCard Foundation you represent, for which reason you were selected above all else to be their scholars. Please keep these in focus always that your selection as a scholar based on your academic excellence would be put to use in your transition to your workplace. That you would pursue wholeheartedly a desire to remain an ethical and transformative leader who will be part of a critical mass to help transform the continent of Africa. That you would exhibit an undying passion to go back and give back to the community that nurtured you, that you will commit yourself to help drive the foundation's ambitious goal in the Young Africa Works, 
which is to enable 30 million young people in Africa, especially young women, to secure employment they see as dignified and fulfilling work by the year 2030. As I end, I implore you, as young leaders, not to seek for power or recognition, but rather seek for influence, impact, and relevance. You can be sure all the other desirable tenants would definitely find you. Continue to strive for excellence wherever you find yourself and diligently and committedly approach all your endeavors with such. Remember to always have a positive attitude, be ethical and make it a personal project to continue to add value to yourself on a daily basis. You are required as part of your responsibility to society to impact your generation by finding sustainable and strategic innovative solutions to the day-to-day -day societal problems. Our very own Nelson Mandela had this to say, there can be no greater gift than that of giving one's time and energy without expecting anything in return. Thus, use the skills that you have acquired to better shape your communities and improve upon its development through job creation, entrepreneurship, diligence, and hard work. You are now part of a broad and global community of creative and inspiring young people trained to be excellent leaders in your own right. I would encourage you to join the KNUST and ASU Alumni Associations, as well as the MasterCard Foundation Scholars Program Alumni Network, and leverage on these networks to build stronger connections and lifelong partnerships as you navigate your respective career pathways. I wish you the very best in your respective career and educational paths. Once again, congratulations. God bless you. Go forth and make all of us very proud. My name is Abraham Kudiabo, a supply chain management student at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi, Ghana. So my experience so far, I think I heard about being admitted into the program when the country was on lockdown and there were a lot of uncertainties about the progress of academic work. So I was really excited when I finally received the news that I've been admitted into the program. I informed my family, they were so excited for me. I think the difficult part is having to take some courses online, gap courses. It was tough because we were not completed with our semester at KNUST at the time.
time. So scholars were taking about 10 courses at the same time. It was difficult, but the light at the end of the candle came when we were invited back to campus to prepare for the uh, fall semester. Tracy Pokwa Tinkran is my name. A student of the Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology, studying human resources in Kumase, Ghana. My journey as a MasterCard Foundation scholar right from when I received the email is that of sheer joy. I can remember how high I jumped and how much I loved because I finally got the mail, like I was in, right? Everyone was happy, my mom, my dad, my brothers. And that was the joy which carried me through the difficult moment because there was a lockdown, so we couldn't travel and everyone was here. We had to start our academics in KNUSC and end it. And that's the same joy which has brought me this far. I am an individual who believes in a holistic education or development for every individual, irrespective of what you have, what you do not have, or what you can give, right? So the MasterCard Foundation Scholarship has helped me because in gaining this scholarship, I have been able to holistically self-develop even though it's been less than a year. I also believe that that development is what will help me hold the hands of others behind me and help them climb the ladder of success so that they can self-actualize and self-develop. My name is Portia Kamalati, a civil engineering student at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi, Ghana. My future goals as an individual are categorized into two. I want to impacts the transportation sector in my country. And then this scholarship gives me a global perspective on the field. Also, I want to be a better version of myself as an individual to give females in engineering the opportunity to see the engineering sector as an attractive one. My name is Randy Eton, I'm ACP, studying biomedical engineering. My journey as a MasterCard scholar came when I received the email that I had been awarded a scholarship. I was excited. I shared the news with family and friends and they were excited and proud of me. The fall semester began quickly in August 2020. Um, I was looking forward to meeting with friends, meeting new friends, meeting um, new lecturers and learning from um, people from other parts of the world. It was exciting. I learned new things. Uh, I improved upon myself. The semester ended and the spring semester in 2021 began as swiftly as the fall semester ended. Even though we had prepared enough, the first week was really very difficult to cope with because we were anxious with butterflies in our tummies. But after the first week, it was really interesting to see how professors are curious about your story and also developing you academically and professionally. Who would have known we'll have had a global pandemic, but that is what has caused us to be here. And it has made me understand that once you are determined as an individual, irrespective of the challenges you face, so long as you put in the hard work you need, fine, you will cry, you will laugh. Obviously, that's what life is about. But at the end of the day, after the race, when you look back, you know that it was all worth it. So concerning adaptability and resilience, I believe it's all about hard work, perseverance, determination, and just being strong. My overall KNUSC experience has been, in a nutshell, very interesting because I have learned so many things. I always had projects for every semester, which I was able to achieve, and then applying for the ASU scholarship. Coming from a community where education is not prioritized, my future goal is to be a leader that people look up to. One that exemplifies the faith that once you hope for something and put your mind to it, you can achieve it. MasterCard Foundation Scholarship at KNUST has proved that this is possible and has exemplified that form of leadership in several ways by giving back to the community in schools, in hospitals, building boreholes in different parts, in different communities. Um, this serves as a foundation for me, learning selflessness and knowing that being a leader is about helping and making impact in the community where you are. When people look at such a person coming from a remote background or a lowly background, think it offers some hope to people who think that they cannot achieve what they have set out to achieve because of the communities in which they come from. It is possible and that is the kind of leader I want to be that people see and emulate. I think my experience at KNUST has made this moment possible. Generally, professors here are very supportive. Uh, the department has opened up policies that students can walk in and seek resources, and they have been very effective at, at providing those resources. 
And, it, and the most interesting is how they are willing to provide recommendations when students want to pursue uh, postgraduate uh, programs. And, and uh, generally, I would say that um, KMUST has been very transformative in, in building me up to this moment. And I'm really glad to have gone through this whole process. My experience as a MasterCard scholar in this global pandemic we find ourselves in is it's been very challenging. The road hasn't been easy, but hey, that is life. Life offers you a lot of curves, but it's how you respond to the situation which matters. So I can say I have grown in new ways. I have been better in so many ways, and I have been able to adjust and adapt to this situation. I say a word of thank you to the MasterCard Secretariat at KNUST for being with us from day one of the journey till now. It hasn't been easy, but they knew exactly how to respond to every situation as it came. Thank you, MasterCard at KNUST. As a scholar in a COVID-19 world, uh, we are just doing the best we can with what we have. I think many dreams and aspirations have, have been pushed aside because of the pandemic. We are privileged that our dreams didn't suffer the casualties of the pandemic. So generally, I would say our experience couldn't have been any better because this is what we have and that's what we are working with. To all my colleagues in Tempe, Ghana, I would like to say a big congratulations. You've made it. You came, you saw, you conquered. I'm really proud of you because you have personified uh, real resilience. There can be no other way to go about it. Uh, congratulations that you've made it this far. Now we are facing the next phase. Let's get it done.